Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to be showing you once again how to go from 1k to a million coins in EAFC. So if you're new around here and you want a team like mine or even better, you're in the right place and all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new and let's get into it. If you've got a team like this, you're probably fed up of teams like this or this and whether you want your favourite cards as a red foot champs card or maybe you just want some coins to get who you want so you can finally beat the sweats like me, then head over to skycoach.gg, make sure to pick the amount of coins or rank that you want, use Pro Recall 10 for 10% off at checkout and enjoy. Now first of all, if you haven't heard of this before you've been living under a rock of course the challenge section we've got marquee matchups an SBC that week on week is going to make you profit because simply by selling all of the players that you pick up from this SBC you are guaranteed profit if we have a look here jumbo premium prime electrum premium gold and a rare mixed on top of a rare players pack as a five you're probably looking at around 50,000 coins off of that it usually costs around 15k to complete the SBC if you're doing it from your club with untradables even better now, of course you can craft this using the mixed leagues method link down below in the video so if you want to do it that way you're more than welcome to but even by buying it you are at an easy easy profit here so first of all we're going to submit the squads i am showing you a squad i wouldn't recommend necessarily using my squads they won't necessarily be the cheapest i've done this from footbin directly which usually means it's a little bit more expensive it will always be cheaper to go ahead and do these from your own i mean look at this for example this eastman guy he's way more expensive than he really should be so realistically i just need to find another English England 4 player. Let's see if Powell works. I'm not sure if he will. I don't know if this is a club specific one. Okay, it looks like he does, but the rating is a problem there. So I think Malone. Oh no, I need midfielder. We want not defender. We want Evans. I think he works. Let's have a look. Let's put Evans there. So he gets it. And then this guy, we just want a Bundesliga. I mean, does it need to be that nation? I doubt it. So I just need a Bundesliga left wing, I think, for this one. So we're just going to try and pick a left winger up for anything around a K. Now, bear in mind, I'm doing this in a bad way by just going on the market and trying to find one. We're looking for an 80 rated. So my man, Jaden Sanchalini, is definitely going to fit the bill. And I've probably overpaid for him there. So we'll slot that there and we are good to go. That's squad number two done. Heading into the third squad, we're looking at Brazil, Colombia. Once again, we've got a concept player there. It seems like those players from Leipzig are just the problem we're just gonna hopefully we're looking for is it Bundesliga I need there what's the connect yeah it looks like it's Bundesliga so I hopefully have a Bundesliga player now the problem is I've dumped pretty much the entirety of my club into SBCs right now so he's not going to make the mark I might even just use Ricken because I cannot be bothered to go find someone else and Ricken fits the bill yeah so we'll do that that was a waste of an 85 guys waste of an exchange pack which we don't like to do but the reality is it's going to cost me a couple k Ricken is technically free so we're just going to do it that way and finally a squad that doesn't cost me anything extra we've done the final there so of course we've got our five packs are we going to go open them i would absolutely love to but unfortunately i currently have 75 i think it is player picks stored for tomorrow i'm going to top them up to around 200 that's the aim and then we're going to go ahead and open them for a video as you can see we've got the first 50 there i've also got sets of 84 pluses we really went all out for this now of course you've done marquee matchups you've made yourself around 30k profit where do we go next well the simple answer informs i would snipe these till the cows have come home i mean realistically what they're going for right now like 30 okay they've they've gone down a little bit they've gone down to what like 34k maybe let's have a look if we go down a little bit further 34 okay 36k so realistically you want to pick these guys up at what 10% of that is like oh, around 2k if you can pick them up at like 34 you're making a 1k profit per piece obviously these can go up for as low as 10k there is an absolute insane profit margin in there and of course if you haven't done it already oh that was close I thought we were going to get that before we did the cutaway but if you haven't done it already there is also an upgrade SBC, which is also guaranteed profit. If you head over to this SBC here, the tradable team of the week SBC, I know this isn't an SBC video, but of course, when the profit is there, I have to show you guys because I am a man of the people. So what you want to do is get this squad filled out. Probably, yeah, I don't really have any 85s right now. So it's probably going to be done for me by an 88 and a bunch of 84s. But basically, it's a guaranteed profit SBC. The SBC itself, I think, costs 25k. And obviously, the cheapest inform is 37. So there's a big minimum profit there. And also, you've got potential for a much higher max. I think someone in the comments the other day said that they got an 80, 
I can't remember what it was. It was a, an 80 something and they got like 70k from it, which is pretty damn good from this SPC because that is more, it's almost tripling your money there, which is obviously way more than you'd want uh, or expect from an SPC like that. So we've not quite made the mark there. Do you know what? We're going to we're gonna go all out. We're just going to put an 89 in because I cannot be bothered. Um, and I've just got so many. As much as that is not the most profitable way to do this one, I have them in my club. So technically, dupes are always, you know, it's it, they don't really have a cost, so it doesn't matter. So we've submitted that. And of course, I'll open that once I open everything else, I've got, as I say, a ton waiting there for me. Now, going back over to the transfer market, of course, I can tell you go, go on every quality realistically right now on the recent filters. So if we have a look at this one, this one, this one, and this one, there is methods in every single one just on the lower end. But we don't want to just go for the lower end. Now, one thing you can do is just go for these special cards here. Beasley, obviously being the cheapest one out of the bunch there, is a very good little filter in himself. Obviously, you've got Fallan there, Di Natale, and Captavia way above. But obviously Beasley on his own, realistically going for about 150k. You've got Forlan going for about 350 as well. So both of them are snipable on the same filter. Are they going to come up a lot or is Forlang going to be a main man in that filter? No, but right now Beasley, I mean, you could see that one there for 143. He goes for about 155, I think is probably a fair amount. So realistically, EA tax on that 7.5k. I mean, this one here probably isn't far off being a good snipe i would say 140 would be the mark i'd want to go down just because there's a few cards on the market here you don't want to be making the mistake of losing out uh, or losing coins when you do sell but you know people are going to list this card for as low as 130 135 there is definitely room for you to make an absolute ton off of that bad boy so it's worth getting your hands on him now of course the other sort of higher end filters that we can do with current promo cards it is always best to just go to current promo cards in my opinion you've got the likes of this one here and headed over to midfielder um, unfortunately you can't do cdm because obviously right now balak is not a cdm he's a center mid so you can't do cdm for him and petit which is a shame because obviously those two on a filter together would be nice obviously you've got the ned veds of the world kind of bumming out this filter however if we pop this to a minimum of 300k you should i believe be able to remove old ned Veddy here so let me just pop this to four brilliant so nedved's gone which means we've just got a nice little filter for petit and balak so actually all we're looking for i mean 480 ea tax 10 percent half so 48 half it'd be 24 so we'd realistically want to be looking at um if we go to here it'll be one two three that's 6k that's 16k profit per card so 16k profit per card there is a maximum profit here i mean because we're putting the minimum at 300 the max you can make is be 156 156 a card is a pretty damn insane number so it's obviously worth getting your hands on these ones so realistically get your snipes out don't yawn while you're sniping because you might miss one of the cards but of course if you are tired like myself you know no one's gonna no one's gonna blame you for a little yawn here and there and of course what we can do similarly to everything else with these filters it, we can pop this off you know if we don't have any luck with our balax and our patties we can just pop this on to a standard little filter obviously you've got sucker on the bottom end you've got ned fed as well very very similar pricing as you can see here it does look like that's a perfect filter with those two there actually so what we can do obviously that's annoying someone's put one up with an 11 hour so you can't compare price ea tax on this is about what 13 it'd be like six and a half k so there you're making about three and a half K a card. If you're happy with that, you can sit there. If you want to make a little bit more, go down to 125. It's about 8K a card. If you want to make a little bit more, you can go down to, sorry, 125, 115. Uh, if you want to make a little bit more, you can go down to 113 and then you're making 10K a card. And that realistically is a good amount per card. You're making a little bit more than EA off your cards, which is nice because obviously them scamming us, you, you want to get your get back on them bad boys. Now, obviously, I'm not actually getting any snipes right now. And why is that? Because one, I'm in a little bit of a rush, guys. This is nine o'clock right now. I tend to try to get these videos out before nine. I could spend a little bit more time and get a few snipes, but I'd rather show you the methods and get the video out on time. We did, of course, drop an investment video as well. Go check that out if you've got the time. The filters I would always suggest building up with right now, obviously these sort of five filters all have really lovely cards on them but a nice thing to touch back on at the minute is actually going to be your english forwards from team of the season now of course we've got the likes of saka sitting around 500 you've got kane at 400 watkins irrelevant uh, but you've also got the likes of james there as well so there is a good selection now what you'd want to do is get rid of watkins now i don't know what his price range exactly is but you don't see him really above 100k so if we put this to a 150 or a 140 
Do we have any Watkinses? We don't, so we should be able to. There you go. So we can scope out our Watkins. There you go. That's perfect. And now we've got a filter that's only going to include Harry Kane and James, which actually is a quite decent filter. James is brilliant in game and really brilliant to snipe. And the other brilliant thing that you guys can do today or be involved in is subscribe to the channel. We're very close to 20k. There's going to be some very big announcements at 20k. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.